to sew vinyl. I don't know if you've thought about sewing or embroidering on vinyl. It's available in so many different styles and colors and clear and not, and it really is fun to sew. I mean, there's a couple things you have to think about, but vinyl, it embroiders beautifully and it's not so bad to sew and you can get some really cool results. So join me. I'm Kathy. This is Sewing Tech Talk and we're going to find out how vinyl is the most fantastic plastic. So vinyl, it really does embroider beautifully and it can be used in so many projects that you might just normally use fabric for. Tote bags, home decor. Oh my gosh, there's so many uses for vinyl and there's so many different types of vinyl. For example, there is clear vinyl. Clear vinyl is a uh, unbacked vinyl and of course <laughs> you can see through it. It works great for projects like totes and uh, for on the top of embroidery you can get some really cool effects. I'm actually making a tote bag, a pretty large tote bag. Here's some really pretty vinyl I picked up at, well let's just say it was one of the larger box stores that still sells fabric and that's I'm working on the pocket today for that and I'm almost done. When you get vinyl, it can either be unbacked like that, like that see-through or it can have a backing on it. The backing on it makes it a little bit stronger and it's, and it's, and it's really uh, easy to use for like totes and stuff like that. And if you do get vinyl, probably a good idea to keep it rolled up. I have a handout that tells you about all the kind of different types of vinyl and uh, tips and tricks for storing it. And if you do get like a crease in your vinyl, then how to get it out and basic, basic instructions for sewing and, uh, and embroidery. I'm going to show you a little bit of stuff today and then I want to show you a really quick and easy project. I'm sewing on the Baby Lock Altair today. So if you want to just dip your toe in the world of vinyl, embroidery and sewing, I have instructions in the handout for, a, um, for an eyeglass case, which is really fun, super easy to make, make great gifts. So we'll be doing that after I talk a little bit about supplies. But let me show you a couple little things. <laughs> the vinyl comes in so much variety. Let me grab some and I'll show you. So vinyl, here's a piece of vinyl now. And look at those pretty designs. This has a backing on it, right? And talk about contrast. Here's another piece. Now vinyl can look pretty much like leather. Here's a piece of leather now. It does have the advantage of not being leather. Leather is, of course, a little bit stronger. We talk about, I talk about that in the handout. But uh, you can sew with uh, vinyl a little bit, tiny, a little bit light, tiny bit easier than leather. All kinds of different colors. This is just a, a super thin vinyl. And this is marine vinyl. Now marine vinyl has an advantage, and I said I talk about that in the handout. It is weather resistant, it resists cold and uh, sunlight, and it's awesome to work with. It's a little bit thicker, so that's something to keep in mind. Vinyl embroiders beautifully. So this is obviously done on a brother machine because it's a Marvel character, but <laughs> vinyl just takes to embroidery beautifully. Now there are some things that are specifically made for embroidery. This happens to be a Kimberbell embroidery leather, super high quality vinyl, and they make these for their specific projects and patterns, but you can use them, you know, you don't have to use their, their designs to use this cool vinyl, and it just really, really luxurious. It's really, really nice. You can even get vinyl that's an iron-on. Here's another one of their products. And I hope you can see it actually has some holes punched in it and it has the advantage of being ironed on iron on because it has this special clear plastic coating that you can iron on. So like I said, take a look at the handout and the handout's going to tell you some of the considerations you have to take. Now, like I said at the beginning, I'm making a tote bag and I'm just finishing up the, um, in the last little bit of the embroidery. I wanted to show you how I hooped it. Now, I hope you can see what I did is vinyl really will take a permanent crease. So that's why I recommend storing it rolled up. And so when you hoop, obviously, if you put the two parts of the hoop 
frame together, it's going to it's going to deform that vinyl. So you really have to float vinyl whenever you're using it. So to do this pocket that I'm doing, what I did is I took some Floriani Power Mesh Fusible. Yes, I know I said fusible and I fused it to the back of the vinyl. And as long as you use, um, you, so, so, <laughs> yeah, as long as you're ironing on the back with fairly low temperature, I put, I made a padded surface with a towel on the ironing board so I didn't take the texture away from that vinyl. And this went on the back. Now I'm floating it on the top of a tearaway stabilizer. Talking about embroidery and embroidery stabilizers, you may think that when you look at, va at vinyl that it's really sturdy, it's right? It's kind of stiff, it's kind of sturdy. And you may think that it may, may or not need stabilizer, but don't be fooled, vinyl needs stabilizer just like any other fabric does. So the way you would use stabilizer for an ordinary fabric or, or design, and you pair those together, the size of the design and your, and your surface you're embroidering on, do the same thing with the vinyl. The only consideration is you really can't put anything on the top that's heat related, obviously. And if you do put something on the back, make sure you're very careful when you're doing a fusible. Actually, it's really simple to use a sticky product, a sticky, sticky type of stabilizer that you can hoop in the frame and then the, the vinyl will just float on the top of that and adhere to that surface. There's Aquaset, there's um, Naturally Sticky. You could even get a spray. You can get a 505 temporary adhesive spray and I'm just using for the project today, I'm using a tearaway Floriani medium tearaway. I sprayed the back of the vinyl with this and it stuck nicely to the, uh, to the, to the stabilizer. Speaking of doing the embroidery, when you think about using your needles, what you probably want to do when you're doing embroidery is you're going to want to slow down the machine just a little bit because the needle going through the vinyl will build and generate some heat and friction and heat and friction well that breaks threads so you may want to slow down your machine and then you can get a needle that has a coating on it like um, you can get chrome or titanium or anti-glue they even made needles especially for vinyl what they have is a coating so that as it as it goes through the plastic vinyl, it doesn't build up heat. So keep that in mind when you're setting up your machine. Now I have the last few little parts of this design that I'm embroidering for my pocket and then we'll get to our little project. So one thing I want to tell you about embroidery on vinyl is it takes your embroidery and it can make it spectacular. Because think about all those different vinyls that I showed you. Oh my gosh, so many different colors. They're shiny, they're dull. Beautiful, beautiful fabrics, well, vinyls <laughs> to, to embroider on. So let me finish the last little bit of my embroidery. And I want to show you the difference between the just the design and how it is beautiful when it's stitched out. So I only have a few stitches to go. Let's finish that. So that embroidery is all done. I want to show you the design and I want to show you the design stitched on a really pretty vinyl. So finished embroidering, okay, <laughs> okay, there's that pretty design. And I think it's a really pretty design. It had a lot of colors. I really didn't change the design that much at all. If you have a design that's really, really super dense, you may want to think about decreasing the density of it. The Altair will do that. So that's the design. It has a lot of different satin stitches. You would think, oh my gosh, was that going to work on vinyl? So. Check that out. Now, look at how pretty that is stitched on a lovely piece of vinyl. This vinyl has a texture to it that looks kind of like, a, an, I guess, crocodile or alligator. <laughs> no alligator was harmed in the making of this. And it has a really pretty pearly surface to it. I think it really takes the embroidery and takes it to the next level. So when you're thinking about doing a project, yeah, maybe on a pocket of something or doing a tote bag, don't forget that 
you can do embroidery on vinyl and it's really pretty easy. You just have to float it on the surface. But you could also, if you had a magnetic frame, you could also use a magnetic frame. Remember, as long as the vinyl isn't going through the hooping process where it's going to get pinched, it's going to be just fine. Of course, you're going to want to test everything. So let me tell you about a really quick, fast and easy project that you can do just a little tiny bit of vinyl and you can experiment both embroidering and sewing. So let's make a little eyeglass case. So I have the instructions, the supply list in your handout. To get to the handout, go to the description of the video or you can go to moorescom slash shop and look for my handout at the bottom and all my handouts are there. But let me just create a real quick and easy uh, design using IQ Designer in the Altair. And it's a real fun little eyeglass case. So what are the supplies that you might need? So I am using the big hoop that comes with the Altair. I have my threads here. I'm going to sew it together with an all-purpose thread after we uh, embro embroider it. I have two pieces of vinyl and these are 5 inches by 14 inches. Like I said, all the instructions are in your handout. And I have a piece of felt for the lining when we sew that together. I have used that 505 spray on the back of my vinyl and it's sticking nicely to just this tearaway stabilizer. Now let's go into IQ Designer and let's make a a frame, a, a, like use one of those decorative fills to go on the inside of this. Now remember, this is going to be an eyeglass case and we're going to fold it up in half. So one half will show at a time. I'm okay with a decorative fill, but if you're putting like an initials or a monogram, this would make a great gift for man, woman, or child to keep your eyeglasses in. So let's go into IQ Designer and let's create something. Now the Alcair has a feature, we're going to leave my pretty design behind, although that would be pretty on an eyeglass case. Let's go into IQ Designer and what I want to do is I want to create a, an area, a box and fill it with that fill that's going to stitch on my eyeglass case. So I'm going to go into shapes and I really just want the center of the shape. I don't necessarily want an outline, although I could have both. So this is just the outline. This is just the inside, and that's both the inside and, 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 a, and an edge around it. So, hmm, let's just go with this one. This will work. There's my square. Now I'm just going to change the size of it. Now I measured my eyeglass case, and it is the length of the hoop, which is 14 inches. So let's go into size, and let's make that four, just shy of 14 inches. I want to stay just a little bit on the inside, so 13 and a half should work. doesn't have to be precise. Now the width of it, I'm going to change the width of it. And my, my piece of vinyl is five inches wide. I think I'm just going to go with a four and a half inches. So let's make that small. There's about four and a half inches. Pretty easy so far, right? So I'm going to say, okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and fill this on the inside with just a fill design. And there's lots of them that are built in the machine. I'm going to come down here into the regions and choose one of the pretty decorative fills that come with the machine. Oh my goodness. Let's see. What would look cool on my eyeglass case? Hmm. I don't know. Well, maybe, maybe something like this one. That kind of fun little, fun little uh, trellis look. Okay. Now, I'm going to just say OK, touch the bucket, and touch on the inside of my little square. So far, so good. Now, when I touch next, I'm going to go and tell the machine how I want the properties of this to be. I really just have that inside going. Let's see. Uh, oh, I have a zigzag stitch on the outside. I don't want that. Oh my goodness. I forgot. So I'm going to touch that and change that just to a running stitch. See how you can make changes just as you go? So now I'm going to go back to that fill. And I want it pretty big because I don't want to stitch it forever. So let's go a little bit bigger, maybe 150%. When I hit set, I'm going to see what this looks like. So when I hit preview, I touch preview. Okay. 
Oh, that should look really good on my I-Class case. I have the red on the inside and just an outside stitch on that outside. Now, when I hit set, it's going to turn it into an embroidery. Set. Okay. Now, there it is. Now, that's an embroidery just like any embroidery would be. And it's going to stitch beautifully on my vinyl. Now, I have several ways that I can place this on my vinyl. Remember, I have the two pieces in the same hoop. I can actually use IQ positioning and I can use my mobile device to take a picture of what's in the hoop, send that to the machine, and voila, I have a picture of exactly what's in there and place my design. But you know what? I think this is going to be pretty easy. I also have nine point placement, so I'm just going to use that to place my design in the hoop. It should be really fast and easy. So in embroidery, I know I'm going to want it to the left hand side. So let's move it over to the left. And I think I might want two of them. I could also use the move keys to get it exactly where I want it to be. Perfect. When I say OK and then I go to embroidery, I can use that IQ positioning app. I could actually also use my nine point positioning by touching the little W plus and that gives me a mark right here on the hoop. When I touch this trial key, I can take it to all four corners of the design and see exactly where this is going to be. Oh, I need, I know, I need to put it over to the left. So let's leave that mark up, touch OK, layout, and just move it over to the left. Oh my goodness, that's going to work great. Now let's continue to see if everything's going to fit. Maybe I need to go over just a touch. Excellent. Now, if I want to change the size of the design, I can absolutely do that as well. It looks like maybe I want it just a little bit bigger, just a little bit longer. I just have to go into the size key and I can make it easily up to 200% larger or 60% smaller. Or I can just make it 20% larger, 10% without recalculating stitches. I have all kinds of options. So let's just go into the size. Notice it kept it right here. And I'm going to say, you know, I want it just a little bit taller. That sounds good. Okay. And then I can just double check real fast to make sure I have exactly what I want. Perfect. Now really, all I have to do is just stitch the design on my little piece of vinyl here, and I know I'm going to be very happy with what I have. So let me stitch this out, and then when we come back, what I'm going to do is we'll take it out of the hoop, and we'll just set up the machine for sewing vinyl, not doing embroidery. So let's get this embroidered, and I'll be right back. <laughs> so you can do all kinds of amazing stuff. I went ahead and made a second one, and oh my gosh, see how cool this is? I put initials on it and just a different fill.
Now, I did this in IQ Designer, and I just written real quickly through that other project. I've done lots of other videos using IQ Designer, but you know there are resources beyond just me. There is a really cool book called Baby Clock, Baby Lock, Baby Lock So It Mastering IQ Designer. They even have, oh my gosh, they even have <laughs> instructions for making jewelry using vinyl and IQ Designer. So keep that in mind if you're really excited about IQ Designer, and there's lots of projects in there that would also be great in vinyl. So I did that, and what I did is I just went ahead and tore the stabilizer away and uh, trimmed a quarter inch around the outside edge. Now when you put vinyl together, well this, this is the eyeglass case, and I just used some spray adhesive to put some um, uh, felt on the inside of it, right? I'm going to sew across the top and then just both of the sides. You can see how simple that is. But I'm using Wonder Clips to actually just hold it together because pins would bend and actually when you pin through vinyl it leaves a permanent hole. So you can't use your basting feature. That's why that spray adhesive or sticky stabilizer works really really great. So I'm just going to stitch across the top of both of these. I switched over on the machine to Sewing. Now on the Altair, all you have to do is tell it sewing and it's going to move that embroidery arm out of the way. Of course you can take it off to do your sewing as well. And I installed a foot that's going to go over the top of vinyl. One thing about vinyl is it's kind of sticky. So you need a foot that's going to slide over the top. So I'm using the Ultra T feet. And the Ultra T feet are actually made of a composite material that slides over the top of sticky surfaces or any surface really to give you less friction. So I, I use that. Now the Baby Lock Altair also comes with a digital dual feed foot, which is great because it has this band here on the bottom that pulls the fabric through evenly on the top and bottom. A walking foot would work, but one thing about a walking foot is sometimes the bottom where it grabs onto the fabric has teeth and that can deform the vinyl. So this digital dual feed foot is ideal for using on vinyl as well. So let's switch on over. I'm going to sew across the top here. I have put on my Ultra T foot. I'm just going to sew across the top. The one thing on vinyl is you're probably going to want a longer stitch length. I've just chosen a regular straight stitch and I've chosen a length of about 3.0. One thing you might want to consider is when you finish sewing, not to back up to do a reinforcement stitch. You actually on the Altair have reinforcement on demand, so that makes it really easy to do. I could also use my guide light on this, but I'm just going to sew across the top, right on top of that stitching, just to get me that, that, um, that felt attached. Notice how it slides really easy using this foot. Use the on-demand scissors, sew the other side. Now while I'm here I want you to see, I've marked a spot that I'm going to use a snap. I'm going to use a pressure set snap. When you mark vinyl you probably don't want to use any of your traditional marking devices because it, they, it may not be removable, but by putting pressure it might deform the surface of that um, vinyl. So what I use is a piece of tape and one of those uh, uh, ink pins just to make an X and that'll come off easily right when I'm done. So it's an easy way to make a mark. So let's just sew this other side, sew it together, and I hope you agree this could be a pretty fast and easy project. Now we're just going to sew our sides. Let's line everything up. Use our wonder clips. When you use wonder clips, they're not going to, uh, you're not going to bend your pins when you use wonder clips, obviously. But once again, don't leave them in for a long time because the little grippers on the bottom might deform your vinyl. So put them in, use them right away, and then remove them, and you'll be very happy. So I'm coming up to the top. I do have reinforcement on demand on the, on the Altair. Do a couple stitches in place. And let's just stitch down the side. One thing 
is kind of important with the Altair is it has an automatic fabric sensor system. See how thick I'm sewing across? Well, the machine automatically knows how thick I'm sewing across. It's a adjusted the pressure on the machine so everything flows smoothly even when I'm sewing on vinyl. Pretty slick. Now I just have to do the other side. Especially on thick materials, I like to sew towards the folded edge so everything comes out really nice. There's my little eyeglass case. All I have to do is put my snap on the top. But I don't know if you've noticed, it's not just an eyeglass case. It could also be a sweet little phone case. And there's even enough room <laughs> to put in your stylus. You could even just sew down there and make room for it. So pretty sweet little project. Pretty easy to get started doing embroidery and sewing on vinyl. And I hope you agree, this takes vinyl, which is already a really cool fabric, and takes it to the next level. There's all kinds of projects that you can use it in. So, <laughs> no matter what you do, sewing machine can be a great partner. I've had fun playing on the Altair. Remember, you can do all kinds of stuff on the Altair, including designing your own designs for your own custom projects. I'm going to send it off to George, and I want him to tell you a little bit more about the Altair. And don't forget, you can do some fun stuff. Thanks, Kathy. As usual, that was an incredible presentation. The Babylock Altair is dollar for dollar the most advanced machine in the industry. It has a large 9.5 by 14 inch embroidery area, plus 494 built in beautiful designs, 30 of the most amazing fonts that you can arc and ray and edit, plus many large, beautiful monograms. You have the ability to create a design without a computer with the IQ designer. You can take an image from a phone, send it to a machine, and it turns into beautiful embroidery instantly. You also have an automatic applique creator to create great borders around names and, and other embroidery designs. Plus, of course, we love our never miss needle threader, and it also cuts all the jump stitches that you want. Now it's not just for embroidery. This is an incredible machine with 11.25 inch opening. It also has a uh, automatic fabric sensor. This fabric sensor senses heavy fabric like denim and sews automatically from there. It will also sew on lighter fabric like Trico. It will sew elastic, it's incredible. Now for the diff real difficult fabric and for quilting, it has a digital dual feed with a belt system that controls all fabrics perfectly. It also has a laser guide, so you can guide for that perfect seam allowance. It's incredible. As I mentioned, this is dollar for dollar, the most advanced machine in the industry. We have a special package right now. The total package value is $14,999, but we have it on sale for $8,999. We're offering free shipping across the country, as well as we have interest-free payments of under $188 a month. But that's not all. We have a special bonus for a limited time. And while supplies last, we're including 63 spools of beautiful embroidery thread, two separate design collections by Anita Good Design, which has over 600 design files in all different styles. We're including stabilizer, all kinds of needles, bobbins, and a membership to Love of Knowledge. We're here, you're gonna see all kinds of demonstrations and techniques on the Baby Lock Altair and other sewing techniques. 
This is for a limited time. But I also mentioned we have interest rate payments. Now, for those who don't want to finance, we have even a better bonus. So give us a call at 1-800-865-9664 or click on the link to order today. Bye for now.